You know, folks, love is the most complex and powerful human emotion, and it comes in many forms. And on this Valentine's Day, we're thinking of the ways love manifests for the men in our lives and how to help them negotiate their emotions to create stronger and happier relationships. On behalf of our sponsors at theluxlist.com, I'm joined now by men's vulnerability coach, Ryan Kopiar. Welcome on. Hi, great to be with you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you as well. Now, we are here to talk about your new book which is big boys do cry yes. can you talk about what made you want to write a book like this about men's vulnerability mm -hmm. yeah well uh, for 30 years of my life I didn't cry and I yeah. work as a counselor and so I've seen what happens right when men are maybe closed down or struggle to get into their heart and they don't cry yeah. and how that can have a deleterious impact impact in their relationship so I said all right I've got to write a book and put out a blueprint to help the men out there Absolutely, and in this blueprint, what have you included? What kind of research have you done to really get in here and figure out the keys to opening up to people? Yeah, well, I think that a lot of men struggle to get into their hearts because they think, I've gotta be this tough, stoic guy and yeah. I can't cry or it'll be seen as a sign of weakness. So what I really break down in the book is, hey, here's some ways to get into your heart and here's some ways to be able to communicate with those that you love. Totally. And while writing this book, what have you learned about yourself and about kind of the male gender as it is? Okay. Well, uh, it's not so easy for us to cry. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not so easy for us to get into our heart. We're more right brain dominant, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And so uh, left brain dominant. And so it's more about how do I get from the left side of the brain into the right side of the brain, into yeah. my heart and into my emotions. And why do you think it's so difficult for most men to feel that it is okay to cry? I think a lot of men grew up feeling like, okay, this is who I need to be. Yeah. That tough, stoic guy, yeah. you know, dad never told me it was okay to cry. Grandpa never told me it was okay to cry. Yeah. And so they never learned how to give themselves permission to get into their heart. Absolutely. And you're a huge advocate for men being more vulnerable. How will this create deeper, le deeper levels of connection with a partner yeah. and a male? Oh, this is my favorite question. So vulnerability is what helps to facilitate safety. Yeah. And if somebody feels safe, they feel more open to communicate and through communication comes connection and through connection comes love. Absolutely. And does your book help teach men express their wants and needs in a healthier way? Yes. Yeah. So the book is a blueprint, right? On, hey, here's some actionable strategies on how you can communicate with your partner and your loved ones. Oh, very good. And you write about the concept of emotional flexibility. What does that mean? Yes. Emotional flexibility means it's okay for me to say I'm not perfect. Yeah. It's, it's okay for me to say, hey, I'm still working on these things. And to go to your partner and say, hey, here's some areas that I'm trying to grow in, and I could really use your help and your grace as I work on them. And of course, our past does impact our present. How would you say a man's childhood impacts the way that he shows up in a relationship with a partner? Yeah, so I, what I'd love to say is, hey, growing up, guys, did you ever have your dad or your grandpa come to you and say, oh my gosh, I just had such a good cry, Ryan, and let me tell you all about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that almost never happened, right? Yeah. And so if that wasn't modeled for us as kids, how could we ever expect to be able to use those skills as an adult, right? Yeah. So the book teaches men how to get into their heart. And how can our viewers get in touch with you to learn more about your book and your work? Yeah, well, the book is available on Amazon.com and my website, and my website is Ryan Copiar, Holistic Healing.com. Very cool. Well, Ryan, thank you so, so much for joining yeah. us on this Valentine's Day. And thanks to our sponsors at TheLuxList.com. If you'd like to pick up a copy of his book or learn more, visit Ryan Copiar, Holistic Healing.com. Very cool. Well, okay, still.